selfie camera, 4K 60fps guys. This is my second camera comparison of Vivo X100 Pro and Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. However, both of these devices had some major software updates, which means there was some improvement in camera. So now 4K 60fps, that was not available when I was making this comparison two months ago. I love how much wider the field of view is on Vivo. However, colors are more natural on Samsung. Sadly, my face is a bit too orange on the Vivo. But let's take some selfies now. Okay, well, let's check on stabilization. 4K 60 FPS on both. I like how much wider the field of view is on Samsung here. The stabilization. Sadly, we've got rain again. Switch into the main sensor. Let's check on stabilization. This is times two. I like the fact that we can switch between the lenses. Stabilization, I think Samsung's doing better here. Now we've got that optical zoom 4.3. Uh, this is just a digital crop. Now we've got times five here on Samsung. However, there's also times 10 available. Look at the quality. I can go times 10 here. But the quality isn't as good on the Samsung. Now, you can even go times 20. Look at this. Wow, that's pretty impressive. But let's take some pictures now. Now let's check on the video quality, times 10 on both, still recording 4K 30 FPS. However, you can see now Samsung can go all the way up to times 20. The quality is just okay, but it is possible and it's pretty impressive. Uh, but let's go back to Ultra and go to see how far it actually was. That's pretty awesome, isn't it? So this is portrait video mode on selfie. I really like the fact how much wider the field of view is on Vivo. However, I think the colors look more natural on Samsung. Also, Samsung can record in 4K. There's only 1080p available on Vivo. This is stabilization. So far, I have to say, I don't really see much improvement over the last video I made. I made this video actually two months ago. Uh, and I can see, you know, the selfie improved on Vivo. Samsung had some software updates, but I don't know what actually happened in terms of the camera. Can you see any difference? Make sure you watch my video I've made two months ago. I'll put the link somewhere in the description below so you can check that out. And we're going to move on to some macro photography. I am huge of macro photography. Uh, Vivo has an advantage here because you can change aperture, you can use a few more lenses, uh, but you let me know your thoughts now. Right, finally we've got some sunshine here in the UK. 
I am using portrait video mode on both. This is times one, 4K 30 FPS. However, Vivo can also do 24 frames per second. Looking good. Now this is times two. What do you think about the quality? Which one do you prefer so far? Also, I like the fact that Vivo can actually record uh, 4.3 that optical zoom. Look at the quality, look at that blurry background. I am really impressed with that. Sadly, there's only times one and times two on Samsung. But let's move on to some portrait photography. Both devices can do some amazing photography. However, let me show you this. Now, when you go portrait here on Vivo, you've got so many options available. Now, I am, I was using natural, but again, if you want to play around with different filters, you've got that option here. Again, I was using natural on the top of that. You know, you've got here more options and you can even change aperture. I was keeping 2.8 most of the time. And on the top of that, you've got different blurry effects. Again, I was just using natural most of the time. Here on Samsung, there is just that and then you can change the blurriness so you cannot see the aperture at all. Uh, five was default, so that's what I was using and that's what I'm going to use now. Okay, 30 FPS selfie camera at night. I like again how much wider that field of view is on Vivo. It is also brighter in my opinion. I'm not sure about stabilization. Yeah, let me know what you think and I'll take some selfies now. Right, let's check on the stabilization and the quality at night, 4K 30 FPS. Just exploring Stafford Town, nearly 12 o'clock at night. You know guys, I love night photography, so sometimes when I cannot sleep, I just go town and just take some pictures. By the way, if you are enjoying my content, smash that like if you haven't already and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Now this is the quality at night, maximum zoom, times 20 on Samsung and times 10 on Vivo. I mean the quality is pretty bad on both I have to say, uh, but you let me know your thoughts. Just using pro video modes on both and it's great because Samsung can record 4K 120 frames per second. They both can do 8K. I like the fact that Vivo has lots of features, additional features that Samsung doesn't have. However, we have to remember about the price. Vivo can be purchased for around 850 pounds, a global version on Wonder Mobile. You know, Samsung 
will cost you over a thousand pounds, one thousand two hundred pounds here in the UK, which is a huge difference in my opinion. You know, when I talk about phones and give my honest opinion, you know, price is a very important factor. You know, if they were exactly the same price, then I would probably pick Samsung because of the software update as a whole package is a better phone. However, you know, when you're thinking about the price, there's no doubt that like, Vivo is beating it miles. So what do you think? Let me know your thoughts, guys, and I'll catch you next one. Cheers.